Good day parents. Let's take a little tour around Google Classroom so that you can know what you're looking at when you are checking on your child's progress in Google Classroom. When your child signs into Google Classroom, the landing page shows all of the classrooms that they are enrolled in. To go into a class, you need to click the name of the class. And if you notice, as I hovered there, the um, underline showed up that showed it to the link. So this is how we get inside of a class to see what's going on. Inside of each class, there are three sections. I'm going to call them tabs there at the top. And the stream is the landing page for each classroom. Class work is where all the assignments are. And the people tab contains all of the teachers and students in your child's class. Starting with the stream, there's some important things you need to be aware of. Um, the stream is a place where you're going to see announcements from your child's class posted. This is not where you will see the majority of their work. The other thing that you need to know about the stream is that it shows there's this little message here that says up upcoming woohoo no work due soon. That is actually inaccurate. Um, so if your teacher has assigned due dates and we'll look at those in the classwork section but just because you don't see anything sitting here that does not mean that there's nothing to do. Additionally this really isn't where the assignments are. The assignments are in the classwork tab so let's go there and look around. Assignments in the classwork page are not arranged by due date. They're arranged by topic. And as you scroll down, you'll see the different topics. They're also over here, links to those topics. And so I can jump between topics through this navigating tool on the side. In this teacher's classwork page, you'll notice that this teacher has chosen not to use topics and they're simply organized by day. So there's some important things you need to understand about these assignments. So let's go to day 11. And when I click it, I can see um, a lot of things about the assignment. I can read the directions to the assignment. But here's a really important step that you and your child need to make sure that you are taking. The words view assignment right here, you need to click those words. Watch what happens when I do. I get taken to a new page and you will notice that it is actually generated right here an assignment that I am supposed to do. So after I read these directions and, and follow the instructions here, this is my assignment that I need to open up and type into. You can also see that there's a turn in button. Once your child clicks the turn in button, this work right here will be turned into the teacher. You can see it already has my name pre-populated on it. When I click the turn in button and turn it in, I can no longer type on the document because it belongs to the teacher now. So if your child says, hey, I can't type on this assignment that I'm supposed to be turning in, there's a really good possibility that they might have accidentally already clicked the turn in button. And the way to solve that problem is there's a button that says unsubmit. The other thing that's good to know is um, comments. So you will see that on this page, I can make a private comment or over here, I can make a class comment. These are exactly what they sound like they are. A private comment is something that goes only to the teacher. It's associated with assi this assignment and the teacher will see it because this also generates an email into the teacher's account. Class comments will be visible to everyone in the class. Now teachers can turn this feature on and off, so if you don't see a place to put in a class comment, that's because the teacher has it turned off. All right, and still in the classwork tab, a couple other things for navigating around. Um, one is if your student, your child, goes to the people tab, um, from here they can um, send an email to um, the teacher of the class, and that's a great way to do that, a great place to do that. And then classwork, stream, we go back over here to navigate to the list of classes again is the um, pancakes over here, or the three bars. And if you click on those, click on classes, and you'll see all of the classes that your child is enrolled in. And that's a quick tour of Google Classroom. Have a great day, everybody.